Hey everyone, this is Joe with Southeastern Frontiers. And today, Jonathan and I are uh, hiking in the gum pond area of the Sipsi Wilderness of North Alabama. And we are bushwhacking it some today in this nice winter day um, to try to uh, find some features along the Maddox Creek, which is right on the northern border of the Sipsi Wilderness. So come along with us today. It's gonna be an adventure. this hike, Jonathan and I set out to try and find the Maddox Motel, which is a small cave with a nice door and window somewhere in the Maddox Creek drainage on the northern border of the Sipsi Wilderness. Not knowing for sure where the cave was located, we started out by following an old road from Gun Pond Cemetery to near where the Maddox Creek joins up with the Thompson Creek. Then we struck out through the trees to explore upstream on the Maddox Creek with lots of zigzags around as we explored. Luckily for us, we found the Maddox Motel on the top of the very first valley that we explored, which, had we known, was only about a mile from Gum Pond Cemetery. After having lunch at the Maddox Motel, we decided to continue to explore upstream and found an old logging road that we followed until we stumbled onto a lovely little waterfall not far from where we parked. Finally, we climbed up out of the Maddox Creek drainage to Gum Pond Cemetery and back to our car. It was a beautiful day to do some off-trail exploration, and I've added the Maddox Motel to my Sipsi Wilderness maps that you can find in the description below. All right, we are near the Gum Pond Cemetery, which is in the Gum Pond area of uh, the Sipsi Wilderness. We are not quite to the Gum Pond Cemetery because Right in front of us was a mud puddle. I decided not to swim with my car. So, uh, that's where we're headed. Yeah, this might have been a bit much to swim with my car. I don't have a Jeep. <laughs> Would have had to take a run at it. This here is the Gum Pond Cemetery. It's an old cemetery from when this was a thriving community on the mountain here, which is now in the Sipsi Wilderness. There are uh, some actually relatively recent gravestones here. It looks like from the 1970s. Yep, but... Uh, so uh, the Gum Pond Cemetery is the uh, starting point of our hike today. We are going to uh, try to bushwhack our way off trail and uh, see what we can find. From the Gum Pond Cemetery here, we are going to the back of it and I think this is the direction we're going to go. There's some old posts here marking the end of the old road and I think we're going to follow the old road for a while. At least I think so. We'll see. Headed west here and uh, it's pretty clear where people have walked before, so it's not hard to follow at this point. My, uh, my older maps show this road here, so I was expecting this might be a good way to get back here. We will see what we find. Got some trees to navigate. Looks like you over here. Check out this tree that is all spirally. It's like a corkscrew. It's because when it was younger, a vine wrapped around it and the tree couldn't make the vine bigger. So it spiraled around the vine and they have been coexisting for some time. Eventually the vine will kill the tree, but that's an interesting corkscrew. <laughs> Very cool. We are still following the old road. Okay, according to my old USGS map here, we have come to a Y in the trail, where the part that goes over there goes off to an old farmstead probably, something for a future explorer. But the part straight ahead of us here is going to go down into the Maddox Creek and Thompson Creek Canyon. So that's where we're gonna go. We're gonna start heading downhill. 
the view down into the uh, the canyon we're descending into. Down, down we go. Going down more steeply now. Really nice fossil right down here. That is cool. Looks like a leaf of an old ancient tree. We got our first sign down in the valley of the Maddox Creek, I think. You can see it through the trees down there. We have come to a, uh, a big switchback in this old road right above Maddox Creek. Looking at my map, it looks like the confluence with Thompson Creek is right up there. There's a trail that goes off here to the left that would probably eventually take you down to uh, the Thompson Creek Trailhead. Uh, it is certainly a path I want to explore in the future. But today, we're going to go to the right here and see if we can pick our way up the Maddox Creek Valley down here. So let's see what there is to see. This is the Maddox Creek right near the confluence with the Thompson Creek, which is just out of sight around the corner up there. I mean, if you wanted to cross the creek, this log would give you the way across. Look at that, this tree fell over here. It's wide enough to walk over if you got decent balance. And the old road continues over on the other side. But our plan is to try to pick our way upstream now and see what we can find. The Maddox Creek here is actually right on the border of the Sipsi Wilderness, right on the northern border. So the Sipsi Wilderness is everything south of the creek, and uh, everything north of the creek is uh, Bankhead National Forest. Trying to see if we can pick a way along here or if we have to go up uphill. Uphill, yeah. In the summer, you just crisscross the stream because you'd be able to walk through it, but I don't want to get my feet wet today. There is an old trail or old road or something along the south side of the Maddox Creek here. Following it, though, is super challenging. We keep losing it. <laughs> well, that's okay. We can go wherever we want. It's a wide open forest. We dodged over to the creek here to check out some of these cliffs and undercuts and things. We have bushwhacked our way up a side canyon. A little bitty stream running through it here, flowing down to Maddox Creek. Just trying to see what's on the cliffs above us. Trying to decide if we're going to keep going up the canyon or head back down to Maddox Creek. After exploring some of the uh, rock overhangs here, we have decided to head back down the canyon, back down to Maddox Creek. So we're going to pick our way back downstream. Quite the echo. Well, we're exploring the cliff edges here. Heading back, still heading back down the side canyon towards uh, Maddox Creek. It's a, it's a job picking your way along this slope. This overhang looks pretty cool. Nice. All right.
right, continuing on along the cliff edge. Oh, look at this. It's the Maddox Motel. We found it. It was right here. There's the door. There's the window. Look at that. Had no idea. Hello. Let's dive in. Oop, if I fit. There we go. And there's the window. <laughs> and the door. And the view out the window. Very cool. Well, that's cool. A little cave. The Maddox Motel. Well, that's what I was out here really looking for. I had no idea how to find it. So it is a little ways up this side canyon. Very cool. There's another nice little rock overhang right here next to the Maddox Motel. Pretty cool. It's right around the corner. It's right over there. It's a pretty valley. If you're coming out the Maddox Motel from above on top of the plateau here, a sign for it is this bent over tree here. It points right to it. Right over the edge here. This is where we had our lunch. And it's right down here. Right here. Very cool. And then there's a nice rock overhang over here. If you're going to camp. Climb in the Maddox Motel here without my backpack on. That makes it a little easier. Ceiling's a little low. But you can almost stand up in here. I'm actually standing up fully now in this one spot. <laughs> so obviously this used to be on the inside of a cave at one point. Um, but I'm guessing the rest of the cave washed away down in the valley at some point in the past. It's got some really interesting cave formations on the walls. I'm looking out the window. Very cool. The Maddox Motel. All right, we had a nice lunch here at the Maddox Motel. And we are going to uh, head down the canyon here and explore more of the Maddox Creek. Let's see if I can not kill myself on the slope here though. Woo! All right, off we go this way. Nice little rock overhang here. Let's see what there is to see. We have picked up another old road, maybe a logging road or something. So we're going to follow it and see where it goes. Until we decide to go somewhere else. <laughs> it's that kind of a day. All right. 
All right, we have turned up another side canyon or side valley to the uh, Maddox Creek. This one's sort of heading us back towards the uh, the car in a, about a mile. But, uh, and, and it's still an old logging road we're following, but uh, it can be hard to pick through in places. <laughs> like right here. This way? Yeah. Definitely wouldn't want to do this in the summer with all the brush. Yeah. That would be, that would be miserable. And probably full of ticks. So, uh, this is definitely the time of year to do the uh, off trail exploring. Well, the road we were following ran out. So we've crossed this little creek because we heard what sounds like maybe a waterfall over here. And we're gonna go check that out before we head on. All right, we're along a branch of the Maddox Creek here, really close to the Gum Pond Cemetery. It's basically at the top of the ridge. Picking my way along under these cliffs here. Beautiful sandstone cliffs. Little waterfall up here ahead. Very nice little waterfall here. <laughs> One of the many, many unnamed waterfalls in the Bankhead National Forest. We are following a faint trail up the valley above that waterfall we were just at. And so far it looks like it's gonna lead us right back to our car. How far to the car, John? About 0.3 miles. Yeah, quarter mile. Off we go. We have returned to the Gum Pond Cemetery. Back there, kind of towards the sun. So uh, yeah, we just came up out of that little valley where we saw the waterfall down there. And uh, we're up to the road here and we're gonna walk this little bit back to our car on the other side of the giant puddle that we didn't want to cross. This has been a fun off-trail hike today. We explored some new places. Uh, explored a bit of the Maddox Valley, found the Maddox Hotel, that was exciting. I've heard of it, but didn't have any idea really where it was, other than it was probably in that valley somewhere. So, uh, thanks for coming along with us today. Catch you next time.